Jade here from The Rawesome Truth. Today I want to talk to you about racism within the vegan community. And I don't think it's a deliberate racial thing that somebody's setting out to be hateful towards a particular race or community of people, but unfortunately it happens. My greatest thing I've said for many, many years is you scratch the surface of anyone's skin and you will find a racist. And I'm talking about any race. And, you know, I notice that when I'm through Asia, Asians are racist to us, uh, to white people. White people can be racist to, you know, European people, whatever. It happens throughout the world. People are people. But I want to talk about it in the sense of animal cruelty. I put a post up the other day on Facebook about something I witnessed in a local market which is down the street from me in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. I've witnessed a lot of animal cruelty throughout my travels in Asia. Um, but this for me was probably the most confronting thing I've had to see in some time and it really upset me. I was walking through the market and I hadn't been here this early in the day. I knew that they had a lot of fish and that upsets me enough. And, um, but this whole morning was absolutely shocking. So I put it in my head before I come, you may see some animal parts and whatever. And I mentally prepared myself that you can walk straight past that because I usually sort of get myself past. You can walk straight past that and just quickly zip in, get what you need and get out. So I had the whole mindset happening. The first thing I saw, however, when I walked in, and it was just amazing, I had my camera in my hand, so I did take some footage. The first thing I saw was some chickens with their little claws tied together, and they were lying down, and they were panting. They were waiting to have their neck wrung. Next to the chickens, there was a man who went to strangle them and um, I just flipped and next to the man there was a lady who was plucking the feathers off an already dead bird so I was just absolutely devastated and I tried not to work out where to go and I'm all just freaking out and I start just trying to walk fast and get away as fast as I can because I, I just couldn't cope and then the next thing, there was a heap of catfish and they allow their fish to suffocate to death, drown to death. The same way we drown underwater as human beings, fish out of the water, they drown. And they're all out of the water and they're on this silver tray and they're flipping and flapping and it's just horrible to see. And this one particular fish had tried to get out and he jumped and he was sort of on the concrete and he's looking for water, looking, he was, you know, I could see, see in my head that was m me, how I thought, I thought the poor darling, he's looking for water, I can't handle this. So as I'm walking through and there's other people just walking through normally, like it's just normal and it would be for them, that's what they're used to seeing. And in my head, I'm thinking, am I the only human being that thinks this is wrong? This is just crazy. This is madness. Anyhow, I get out of there and I go home. I burst into tears and I said, what is friggin' wrong with people? This world is so cruel. And I was very upset and I put a post out on Facebook. And, you know, most people very empathetic towards the whole situation. They can understand why I'm upset. They can understand the cruelty. They can see the big picture. And I also put in there, there is no difference between Asia and the Western world. The only difference is we, we hide it and we put a pretty little bow on it. Anyhow, I had a lady chime in and she said, I wouldn't go to those, that country. It's so cruel, blah, blah, blah. And this is what upsets me. I had one other lady say something to her. I wouldn't have gone there. I wouldn't have done that, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, where do you expect me to go? Predominantly, everything's markets here. I, and there's supermarkets anyway, which has death in it. And that's what I said to her. I said, well, where do you want me to go? Because everywhere I go, 
there's going to be death. And I said, the last time I went to a supermarket in Australia, we had death in cans, death in the freezer section, death in the deli section, and death in the meat section, which I call the death section. So where do you want me to go where I'm going to be avoiding this death? The only difference is that I'm just seeing it face to face because it's all hidden in Australia. Anyhow, and I, then this other lady, oh, I wouldn't go to those countries. They're just cruel. They're cruel. They're cruel. And she was so harsh and there. And it may be my sensitivity because I've got two half Asian children, but I chime in very quickly on racism and I'm very big on words and language. And there. And I, and I even question, I said, there, like, there, you know, um, so that's just my opinion, they're cruel, they're cruel, they're cruel. Who's cruel? Cambodian people as a whole, are they cruel? Or just the people in the market are cruel? Who's cruel? The whole system's cruel, the whole world is cruel, we want to go that far. Because the whole world predominantly is eating animal products. So they're contributing to this. But to say one specific country is cruel is wrong. Because animal cruelty is everywhere. You know, if you went to Greece, you're going to see dead animals on a, on a stick. Are we going to avoid going to Greece? If you, if you go to Australia, you're going to see dead animals on barbecues and everything else. That's what happens. And you can't pinpoint and turn it into a racial thing it's not a racial thing this is a human being thing this isn't you know that country's cooler than others every country's cruel but the difference is some countries hide it better than others and for anyone to think that this sort of thing doesn't happen and i'm going to use my own country in australia you're kidding yourself because I have seen so much footage of dreadful, dreadful animal cruelty. We even send, we send our animals over by ship to their countries and they suffer on the boats. So to think for one moment that a Western country is any less cruel than a third world country or an eastern country or a European country or whatever country it is, that's just naive. And I just don't want people to turn this into a racial thing and say that country's worse, that country's worse, they're all worse. They're all dreadful, they're all horrible. And until every single human being wakes up and says they're going to go vegan, Nothing's going to change in any country. And the only difference is, as I said, you go to a Western country and there's pretty bows on it. They give things different names. You know, in Asia you'll probably see a lot of um, heads of animals. You see a lot of body parts and all that kind of thing. And it's just sort of splattered out. And you see the whole animal for sale. Um, it, it looks horrible. And it's very upsetting to look at. But when you're in a Western country, you see them in cans. You see, you see them um, in freezers. And they're just put with a little special bow on it. It's called a nugget. It's called a sausage roll. It's called a pie. It's called a hot dog. It's called a roast. It's called a sausage. It's called whatever, whatever name they want to call it. But it's a dead animal and it's a dead animal that has suffered at the hands of human beings who have no scruples whatsoever and it's purchased by human beings who are not yet awakened who who need to open their eyes and see the truth and see the detrimental effect animal agriculture is having on our world environmentally health wise and the suffering those living beings are going through day in day out at the hands of us
and the only way that you can make a difference is to close your purse and not contribute to these industries. It's 2017 and there's many, many ways to be vegan and you will not go without anything. And you can go into websites like Forks Over Knives, What the Health, you can join my new group which I just started, it's called Fruits and Roots and that is helping people from anywhere they're at become vegan. And um, I, I'm going to make sure that all the information that you possibly need to become vegan is going to be in this group. So join the group, links below, ask questions, ask for help, ask for guidance. We're here to support you to make the changes to move away from animal agriculture. I'm Jade. This is the Rawsome Truth. Leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, love life. Live free. Go vegan.